as as in your la latest UGC curriculum in your syllabus, the there is a three paper on main core three paper uh, real analysis, group group theory, and modern group theory and partial differential equation and system of theory. So in the first paper uh, we, we have in first paper we have real analysis and the first chapter is limit and as uh, I have done I have released the three video on the safe first good paper introduction of this video so basically this video is going to introduction of the some basic concept of limit and other so let's proceed if you have not watched the uh, other previous video i'll give it in the description box you can check out for more detail so stay tuned for more update and subscribe my channel to get latest notification on from my channel so here for the first thing it is real analysis so first limit chapter is limit basic definition of basic definition of limit next Epsilon Delta definition of limit Third Sequential Criteria of Limit Fourth or divergence criteria of limit five limit limit at infinity Infinity fourth limit tend to infinity limit tends to infinity I think four and the sum basic properties of limit or sequential criteria divergence criteria sequential criteria divergence criteria limited infinity limit tend to infinity some basic property yeah. some basic property and epsilon delta definition and second divergence criteria limit 10 to infinity and uh, how it tend to infinity and as basic property of a limit and the uh, of so i think there, if there is a limit so i will try to cover it so please move on next before proceed So first the basic definition of limit then we will move to the epsilon delta epsilon delta definition so so what is limit basic definition basic definition of limit 
that's it definition of cycling in this suppose i am writing is format definition then we i would try to explain is if we this definition is given by the kuchi the kuchi uh, definition there is a history in the limit and the definition according to l kuchi is if we successfully attribute attribute the base attribute the same value of same quantity same quantity same quantity variable i think variable a same substitute attribute then Attribute the same value, same quantity indefinitely, indefinitely fixed, indefinitely fixed, such indefinitely fixed, such that they are, they are. Deferred by a little L I W T L E little bit difference of preceding one. Then it's called. limit of top quantity limit of of all of them this is the formal definition of i have Try to explain in my own language. So, this is the basic definition. Next, what will be the next? So, note down it. Very good. So, so we are now going to explain the part. Suppose if we have a function, suppose if we have a function, rather than I am taking a quantity, if we have a function, taking a function, let take as a function. Basically, the definition given by Kuchi is in a mathematical term. That is the based on the number theory. He gave in in the mathematical the. So the Kuchy theory, the Kuchy theory, Kuchy theory of limit based on the numerical approach. So he gave it the basically the numerical approach. Suppose if we have 
suppose if we have a bucket so if we have a big bucket so so the i this bucket is the full of water full of water and the water in a bucket is a, is reaching such level if we add this add the one drop of water in bucket if we add the one drop of water in bucket after the adding the other drop the what the water remain inside that will over go to the overflow or other surface so the before the preceding drop the water in the bucket what drop what the water drop in before it it's called the limit of the water in a bucket so basically this concept uh, here I try to explain so there is I think I hope you will get an understand so you can remove it in your mathematical part also so if we have a quantity suppose we have a one we know suppose now if we have one and two if we have an one two in a real number if we have one one and two so there are infinite part of partition inside the two one and two infinite part of partition in inside it so if we divide it in very small part one two three small three and make it a very small as we divide five if we divide it to n make it a very small part so that there is nothing left in any inside so add as a to add between those number so there is no step the step which I have regained is called the limit of the in terms of this so basically this approach now we are going to move our syllabus so now what is the our main syllabus the basics epsilon delta the basics I can go Basic epsilon delta So first let let a be the subset of R, a be the subset of R. A point, a point C belong to R is a cluster point. Point of cluster point, cluster point of A of of A. a. If A be the uh, let A be the set slot, what I'm thinking you have created, let, let A be the set subset, A is the subset of R and let a point, a point C belong to R is a cluster point of A, cluster point of A. If if there exist there exist a delta there is an exist in a delta which is greater than zero I think one thing I need to There exists in a point delta greater than zero such that such that at least one point x belong to a and 
one point x given to a for all for all x not equal to c and x not equal to c such that x minus c is greater than epsilon less than zero that is the definition of cluster point m to move to this is the definition the definition of cluster point the definition of so you have to understand what is the definition of definition of cluster point. point what is the cluster point basically this definition we have we have also used in the second semester of our syllabus this is the basically epsilon delta definition that is the neighborhood neighborhood so next we are moving So you have to note down eh? that uh, defining now we are going to the another definition of cluster of another definition. Another definition of shown of cluster. Of. Cluster let A B A A B A non empty non empty subset of R such and A Said to be a cluster point point of R if there exists there exists a Delta is greater than zero such that V of delta equal to x minus theta x plus theta is called a basic the other definition of cluster point. Okay. See continue at least one. That exist in neighborhood, neighborhood of a such that of C contain at least. At least a point of A, at least a point of A distinct from C. So, this is the another definition. So, we have to note down it, then I will move forward. So the next part who is coming soon so there is video is now which it makes no way now. Next part is coming soon. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Like and share subscribe for more videos.